Now I'm sure that most of you know the old story about the astronaut who went far out into space. Oh my god. Apollo 11. Apollo 11. Apollo 11 on episode 12. Episode 12. Wow. In front of her whole class. Yeah. yeah you know, they were like a, like a mile like, away yes, watching it. <laughs> they flying in space on TV and then just... It boom, didn't even take gone. off. It just blew up right there. They probably... No, went, did it take off? The, I, yeah, I thought it blew up in the air. It I, didn't reach space. Oh, I thought it, it blew, blew up, up in the like, atmosphere. Yeah, it blew up in the atmosphere. There but was, imagine that. Imagine being. Imagine that being your teacher, and you know, in class, like when they would like show you something, like on videotape, they'd re- reel in that VHS, the VHS player in the box yes, TV. Yeah, yeah. Bring it in. Play. Play the. Uh, the the live. launch. The live. The live. That's what I'm saying. Like the whole class was watching that. Sitting like, there, crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Staring up like that's my tea. We're gonna watch Miss that's Teacher. My tea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where'd Don't she even... go? Everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Imagine You're that breathing her in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> in the atmosphere. Ah oh, shit. Well, let, let me let me uh, give the podcast a little episode intro 12. really quick. Yeah, episode twelve, guys. Welcome back. Uh, it's the no side. Joined here with Brandon, Giovanni, and myself, Antonio. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody's week is doing well. We got things to talk about, um, some topics, things I, things we need to address, some big things. First off, I want to get into is something me and Brandon were talking about earlier today, uh, Starland Ballroom, um, to let Giovanni in and let the listeners in. Uh, Starland had made a post today in the afternoon stating that you starting october 1st it's going to be required that you show a vaccination card as proof that you've been vaccinated to be able to enter and there's a lot of outrage um i don't personally care that much one for being that i'm already vaccinated and i mean fuck it i got vaccinated just for the main point to go to see live shows so if it means i have to use a vaccination card fuck it yeah um but there's a lot of outrage like if you were to if you go to the I Starland, bet. yeah, anybody There's listening, probably a bunch of idiots that aren't vaccinated that yeah. want to go and you know spread their their COVID. Yeah, and people are like loss of cooties. business, R.I.P. Like this is the end of Starland. Like, Outrageous! This is crazy. I, 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 just, just going get off. vaccinated. Yeah, just get vaccinated. Like yeah, um, like we're vaccinated, and mm. like literally none of us are upset. If the I didn't de- even give it a second thought when you brought it up. If this Delta variant thing didn't start happening, honestly. I don't see an issue if yeah. you're not vaccinated or not. Yeah. If the Delta variant didn't happen, if you're not vaccinated, whatever. Because of this Delta variant, uh-huh. no matter the severity of it, I think just because it's there, we should be vaccinated for like that main, the baseline COVID, you know, just in case. Real quick, would you guys want to turn off the AC? Uh, yes. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I got it. Damn. Sorry, guys. You had to hear the AC a- for the first couple minutes. Literally. Three minutes in. It was literally 100 degrees today. Yeah, that's why I wasn't thinking about it, because I was in heaven. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. let's talk about that really quick. Today, fucking felt like 110 degrees. Inside the truck? Oh, my God, yeah. Just everywhere, anywhere outside. It was actually worse inside the truck. Oh, for sure. That's, yeah, that was That was probably 120 degrees. Yeah. I was I, I was hot and just dry, not moving heat. Yeah, everybody was dripping sweat. I went to the bathroom in the middle of the shift, and there was a dude in the sink, like, literally bathing himself, just, like, splashing water all over him, like, just, <sighs> just trying to, like, get, like, revive himself. Wow. That's how hot it was today. Wow. Today is Thursday the 12th, right? Yeah. That'd be the end of the week. Friday the 13th is tomorrow. Hopefully it's not too hot. Oh, damn. It's been hot the past three days. We had another heat wave. It means I got to yeah, watch Friday the 13th tomorrow. Oh, jeez. I, I, I try to always watch Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's a little, little tradition. You said me? Yeah. yeah you don't yeah. like Friday the 13th? I like, remember I told you I don't like scary movies? Yeah. Yeah, this really guy. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I watch Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dude. Speaking of Dragon Ball, we've... Uh, C- completed the Frieza saga. I think we were on that last episode, right? Yeah, we were. We were like almost like about like I think the the last podcast we were right before the fighting, like right before the main fight between Goku and Frieza. 
and it lasted a week. Yeah. We finished that like two, two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, two, three yeah. days ago. When and Goku. we've been like watching the filler. When mm-hmm. Goku beat Frieza, yeah. We yeah. Super Saiyan 2 for the first time. Yeah, we saw all that. We saw when Namek exploded. I hope there's people listening right now and they're like, oh, wait, Goku beat Frieza? <laughs> I'm only on episode five. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Frieza? <laughs> <laughs> like bro if you don't know the number one anime like 20 years after it came out sorry like, that's your fault Everybody spoilers i haven't even watched it but i know what happens for the most part <laughs> pretty Seriously, much yeah, yeah the first two sagas like even me this is my first time actually watching dragon ball and like i i pretty much already knew what was going on somewhat i just got a clear picture of it now i feel like everybody knows about Frieza, yeah, you know? yeah. It's everything after that. It's he was like the th- he's like the Thanos up. of the Dragon Ball universe. Nah, mm, nah. there's a no lot more. There's a way. lot more strong he's, people he's like other Loki. than Thanos. He's like the Loki of. I, I'll give him the Loki. Yeah, yes. because he's an asshole at first. He's I, the first I, I, big I can settle with that. But Loki, and yeah, then they befriend him. That. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that, Antonio? Who Frieza? Yeah. Did oh, they, like they, befriend him. They, like get buddy buddy. But yeah. that's like way down yeah, the line. Oh, okay. Because I just the, line, the last so. thing I watched was him get diced up. So it's that's why I was so all confused. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's not even in Dragon Ball Z. So it's in Super. So you have a yeah. long, oh, time, long, long way to go. Yeah, okay. a long way. So. All right. But and I think the way it happens, like you probably won't even care to like know beforehand. Mm. Like when you see it happen and, and how it happens. I think yeah, like, you're gonna be like, really oh, cool. okay, that makes sense. And this is cool. so yeah. Like, it's not like they're. I'm not even gonna spoil it, but yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, I'll he's get Loki. There. He's Loki. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I could settle with that. That makes more sense. Do you know the other main villains in Dragon Ball Z? Like, like I said, at this point now, I've, I've seen, seen everything that I've seen as a child. Ah, so everything. So, so yeah. now at this point, I, about it. no, yeah. I don't want to spoil nothing for him because it shit's getting good. Like the boy, his boy that just showed up. I don't even know his name yet. Who? Uh, what does he look like? Dude with the sword. Pink hair. hair, the purple hair. I'll show you one second. You know Let me him. see a picture. I know him. Yeah, yeah. If you said his name, I'd probably know him. He's been very reluctant saying the name around I'm me. Not, yeah, I don't want to spoil nothing. No, no, I get it. <laughs> this guy. Oh wow! Yeah, we just met him. When you walked in, he just killed Frieza. Yeah, yeah, that, like, that's what I said. I just watched him get diced up before you oh, walked in here. Not I by walked... Goku. Yeah, not by yeah. Goku. Like literally, when you walked in, he was like, <laughs> "Whoa!" He <was> like, Whoa. <laughs> and like wow. diced them up. Yeah, wow. yeah, wow, really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to continue it. I, I just been falling off because recently I've been watching The Sopranos. Mm, mm, yeah, and how you were talking about there's just titties all over the place. Oh, dude, hell yeah, dude! Tony Soprano right now, where I'm at, he's like in Italy, mm. or he. I'm, that's not where I'm at. That was like what I was watching last night. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he got to Italy and pretty. I was telling Brandon like everywhere. Dude, if Tony Soprano isn't in his own house, he's cheating on his wife <laughs> with some hot pieces of ass. Let That's me tell the you, the life to live, like, like life worth to... it to cheat. Oh, for sure. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, dude, he's playing in a whole different ballpark, dude. Yikes. The ass he pulls, I mean, it's kind of paid for, but <laughs> yeah, but you know, still, it's ass. It's ass. Yeah, but yeah, dude, for sure. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Sopranos is a good show. I've been trying to get Brandon to watch it. He said, yeah, you, you, it you should try If you yeah. like the mafioso shit, and by the way, it is all in New Jersey, so... I think you tried showing me this. Yeah, I think I showed when, you... When you started watching it, I, you showed me, like, the first couple episodes, I think. I think I showed you the intro. When yes. I, when the, yeah, 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 yeah. Just the intro. Just yeah, so the... you're able to see, like, little landmarks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. okay, yep. Yeah. In each episode's like, literally a movie. How far really? are you in it? Yeah, I'm... Towards the end of season two, about to be on season three, episode one. Yeah. How many episodes are in a season? Uh, fuck. Off the top of my head. Give or take. About 20 ish. 20 episodes? I think. And they're like, Maybe. what, an hour? A little long? less yeah, than 20. It's I'm not thinking. like, that's it's definitely not over time. 20. It's less than 20, but it's over 10. It's like in the 15 range. I think. So you think it's like a 12 episode series? I was thinking that. I think, I think it's a little right bit now. more than 
takes a little bit more than 12. Maybe 13. I could see 15, 16. Maybe That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's around there, but let me see. Season one. Like 14 and a half. 13. Uh, <laughs> 13. Well, I was right. Yeah. Second try. 13 for season one. Season two. Um, let's see. 13. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a lot of time. 13 hours each season. Twice. Yeah. I mean, Damn. as for him, he's seen, you know, both seasons. He was about to spend another 13 hours. Big yeah, dude. smile on his face. <laughs> so good. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at, like, the pictures of each yeah, episode. I'm like, ooh, it's like... gonna good. It's gonna get good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um... All right. Oh, that's something I wanted to do at the beginning, but we got uh, distracted. Side We're track. talking about such fun Apollo things. Apollo 11. Yeah, Apollo 11 and shit. Just so pull. I'm going to start doing this thing every week. All right. Uh-huh. Dun, dun, dun. New, new show happening in the podcast. So I'm going to be telling you guys shower thoughts, things you think about in the shower. Just okay. random thoughts. And you're okay. washing your hair and you're like, hmm. And you're thinking about the universe. So I'm going to give you guys. A shower thought. Okay. And I want your guys' thoughts on it. Okay. I'm going to start with you, Giovanni. So I'm going to say it, and then just let me know what you think. Sure. The sentence, I'm speechless, shouldn't exist. You used that phrase not too long ago, by the way. I just want to say that. <laughs> you did, Antonio. What? What phrase? I'm speechless. During it's, the it's podcast? Just, no, no, like in life. I remember. Oh, yeah. Was that when we were watching Invincible? Yeah. Were you looking for that for a yes. while? Yes. Oh. I was what looking, looking for it. <laughs> I took his little uh, pen cap. cap. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was just fucking I with was it. wondering what that little exchange Dude, was. Dude, I was like, where is this? I'm over here, like, lifting up the bug. Like, I thought, I thought <laughs> he's flat on the table. I'm just like, maybe? Like, <laughs> I thought you seen me take it. It was, like, right here. No, I, I didn't see what you grabbed. I saw you grab something. I didn't know oh, what it was, though. Yeah, I was just fucking with that. <laughs> like a well, child. There you go. Anyways, so... I'm speechless. I'm speechless. The sentence, I'm speechless. You say the it, phrase, it shouldn't I'm exist? Spe- it shouldn't exist. I'm going to counter that and say it should exist. That's what I'm saying. Because when you have nothing to say... Like something just blew your mind that heavily. Mm-hmm. That's the phrase for it. I'm speechless. But saying I'm speechless means you just not, have nothing to say. You're just so announcing why say it. it? You're yeah, just, you're just announcing the fact that you don't have anything to say. Yeah, because what you saw was just so like extravagant or miraculous or unfathomable. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you know, you just can't process it. Like, but is it necessary? Yeah, because some. The person on the other end kind of wants your reaction. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's better than just, you know, if you were with, like, like, let's say we all saw some crazy Mm -hmm. shit and, like, you were saying something about it. Brandon said something about it and I'm just, like, staring, like. Like, like, when I said you said it the other time, Mm -hmm. you said it when you saw it, too. He said it when we saw Omni-Man kill all those guys. Ah. Like. He wasn't expecting that. He was just like, I, at when that show ended, I lo- I looked at him and his jaw was dropped. Like, yeah, and like, he's like, "Dude, I'm speechless. literally speechless." I yeah. really that. was. So that's yeah. like the type yeah. of shit where it's like, that's where that phrase it, is acceptable. That blew your mind. You weren't yes. expecting it. It's so. like you still needed time to process everything you just saw. Mm-hmm. And to me, because I seen it, I wanted your reaction. That was a perfect way to describe that was, that exactly. Was... Yeah. So. I think you agree with me. I agree with Giovanni. Yeah. All right. And that's good. Cause I agree with both of you, by the way, this wasn't a shower thought that I had. This is something that I had uh, found online. Oh. Um, there's a, there's a account on Twitter called yes. actual, mm-hmm. you know, like shower. shower thoughts. Thoughts. Yeah. 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 I follow our slash shower thoughts on Reddit. Yeah. So I'm a cool guy like right. that. Yeah, like, I, I scroll through Reddit here and there, man. I do Twitter. <laughs> Twitter's cooler. Yeah. I think Twitter is the coolest Twitter's social media just toxic. app. That's fucked. I, I, it depends I, on how I you use it. I can't find that it. much joy in Twitter. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I want to delete mine, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I love... Bro, I'm, I'm every, tired of it. It's every just, morning I wake up and I open Twitter and I'm like, bro, this is fucking gold. I'd rather be on I Instagram, s- just have a quick laugh. It's weird. I enjoy having a Twitter, but I don't care about everything else in Twitter. Like, the no-side Twitter, like, I, I like having the no-side Twitter. Like but that's, like, more for, like, 
business. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. air quotes around business. Yeah, like I, I have a personal account on Twitter, mm-hmm. but I don't do shit on it. Like mm-hmm. I just have it. It's just have there. It. Yeah, it's just there. Um, just to it, follow some shit. That's basically um, what mine is. And it's like, yeah. but I never use it. You know, I only mm-hmm. use the no side one. Actually, I did delete my Jovi Lego Twitter. I just had my personal one now. But oh, okay. Probably, yeah. Cause I wasn't using that one at all. And since I was starting up the stream and everything again, mm-hmm. I was using literally everything else. I was like, there's no you playing reason violin? for me to have this. Huh? You playing violin? That's the one I have. Yeah. 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 That's all. That's the one I have left. You had that for years. Yeah. The bee playing a violin? Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you remember that when that came out? The painting of a bee playing a violin? No. That's literally, like, that's, I took that. Dude, Anthony was still around. Oh, my God. You did that back at his place. Yeah? And not at, you know, but when he was still there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The holy shit. That was a long time ago. Bee wow. playing a violin. That was, like, 2017. Yeah. 2018. I still have the picture of it. I think it's still like that, yeah. No, I mean, like, the, the photo photo. Oh, that, yeah, I remember. So 2018? Or some shit. 2017, maybe? Because, you know, and we were still kicking it with Ant. He's looking it up, guys. The bee playing the violin. And if you find it, here's a picture of it. <laughs> we're giving you homework, Antonio. Sorry. That's all right. So that means if I can't find it, you got to find it yourself. <laughs> I'll look at it. Playing a violin. Too. Imagine I find the wrong picture of a bee Honestly, playing Honestly, it'd probably be easier if I just Googled it instead of, like, going through my photos. I just Googled it. Did you find it? Yes. Okay. This there you I? go. Yeah. Yeah, literally, that's the profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the yeah. bigger picture? Like, the full yeah, I was photo? just about to say that. Yes. Show it to Antonio. <laughs> Here. All right, first you oh, see God. you you guys are gonna see the <laughs> yes. profile picture, and now you're gonna see the actual photo. So it's like when I made that my Twitter, it was like I was the B. My tweets was like the violin chords, and, and your the followers sound, and the followers were the ladybugs dancing to the <laughs> tune. <laughs> they were dancing to the tweets. They're like, "This is some good shit over here." We should have a no side cover art for the podcast at some point. Have it be that. Have it I like would that. love that. Like, have the bee, have, like, the exact same thing, but just put us into it. I would love it. I'd be so happy. Be I have to be the one playing the violin, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have to be. It was his idea, yeah. I, 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 fun fact, I did play violin for, like, half a year. Really? Well, have yeah. you dressed what up grade? in a bee outfit? Yeah, yeah. I'm what down. Grade? I don't care. Yeah. I'll do it. When did you play violin? Huh? When did you play violin? Uh, like, beginning of college? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Freshman year of college, actually. Nice. Yeah. Everybody, I, I just made people cringe. Are you five? <laughs> <laughs> I, have I burped like the past three episodes? <laughs> it's going to get to the point that people are going to be like, is he, he going to burp? Yeah, he what? didn't do it yet. Like, <laughs> we're 50 minutes into the podcast. He hasn't done it yet. And it's like, the last five minutes, you just hear it. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, okay. He did it. Tradition. Should we start rating his burps? What would you give that burp? That one out of first ten. First one, because one he ten. cut me off while I was talking, give it a solid two. Okay. Just out of disrespect. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fucked up. I, th- I thought you were going to be like, because it cut me off, it, you know, it was so good. I'll give him a ten. Like, it was so good, it cut me off. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I was in the middle of talking and then you just started burping. Yeah, but, you know. It wasn't that good. It was that good. I'd give it like six. I made y'all guys like. It caught you know me off guard. I mean? It was like that's wow, what I'm that saying. Was I, I kept going with my. That's sentence. why I have to give it something. Is that it was it was so significant that I was like wow. All right, because okay. because personally I thought you were just you guys were just gonna bypass it and just keep going. I didn't know we were gonna have this whole discussion. Well, I give it a four now. A four. Yeah. Four plus of a two. Four plus six. I got a ten. I'm, I'm fine with it. Out of twenty. No. So, no. So since failed. when? Because that's so. Because if, if you're gonna combine it like that, that's out of the total score. Oh, true. Yeah. So nice. yeah. So you yeah. just fucked yourself. That's a half. That's fifty percent. So you failed. Mm. Or I. Passed. Or or you got well, a sixty and you still failed. Nah. And, or or a forty <laughs> and you still failed. Nah, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. You're <laughs> gonna be stuck. <laughs> Shut up. Whatever. I'll burp again. No. <laughs> 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 Watching you guys. <laughs> <laughs>
have that conversation look like <laughs> you have a conversation with your mom coming home with your report card. <laughs> and you're like, no, it's not that. No, you're going to fail. It's not that bad. It's like, I no, like, come on. Just if you, if you look at, if you look at the numbers, they're big, they're big. <laughs> they're double digits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys oh ever forge your report card? Uh, no. You never no, forge your report no, card? I've, I've hidden bad grades. Like, if I got an F on a test, I've tried hiding it. You never forge your report card? No, it I was don't all think online. I would ever be. Yeah, I was going to say, mine was, like, always online. Or, My, like, a printed paper. Yeah. Really? Element, yeah. Elementary school is the only time that I had an actual physical report card. Once I got to middle school and high school, it was all yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genesis? Mm-hmm. That's what it is? Parent Portal? Yeah, yeah. That shit. In, I, for, that, I didn't get hit with that until, like, what? High school? Didn't Parent Portal come around in like high school? Well, that was Parent Portal when was you high, were a freshman. School, yeah. I was in middle school, so oh, yeah. Shit, yeah, yeah. Parent Portal, we were yeah high school, and then it was Canvas for college. Yeah, I mm. fucking hated Canvas, dude. Like Canvas had everything and nothing because <laughs> dude because no 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 listen listen the links we, wouldn't work the links wouldn't work. The, the fucking, all the extra books and shit you need had, like, all these extra websites that had all the programs and software that you needed to do the class. It wasn't any fucking shit on Canvas unless it was, like, an elective. Like, my, my photo class. Exactly. That was all on Canvas. And even then, I had to go to, like, fucking the Photoshop, Adobe, whatever, extra shit on the computers. Like, Can- Canvas is so useless. Canvas sucked and Parent Portal was trash yeah whoever made that just wanted like kids to just be upset suffer yeah, yeah. suffer yeah my mom would check that while she was at dude, work dude that's what bro. i'm saying like, oh my I would get god home and my mom would just have it on her phone no my mom wouldn't even wait for me to get home she would text me during the school day pretty yes yeah, really? and be you like yo what's nah. up with this shit and ruin the rest of my school day i'm like i'm gonna get my ass kicked like, yeah no. i would dread going home <laughs> The parent portal, man. Parent portal sucks. The PP. It really is the parent portal. PP. Yeah, they see. They're like Heimdall with that shit. They can see everything. Yeah, the PP. The PP. They wanted somebody to acknowledge it. The PP. PP. Yeah, thank you. I was trying not to, well, I but know. then I, I, I kept kinda... saying it. The parent portal. PP. I, no. That's how you got to say it now. <laughs> I used to forge my report card, though. In, in, in you used to forge grade. your PP? What I no. forged? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's the only that. time I'm done. <laughs> no, because that was online. I couldn't afford that. <laughs> no, nah, that was about to make another one. <laughs> like, Let me stop. I gotta control myself here. <laughs> yeah, it was online. What, your PV? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm done. <laughs> the only thing I forged was I remember it was in elementary. Um no, not even signatures. Did, you, did your teachers ever make you do like the multiplication tables as homework? Mm-hmm. I there was times where and like we would need to do that and get it like signatures from our parents every time. So uh, you forged those yeah, signatures. Yeah, because oh. I remember there was a couple times I was like, "Shit, I forgot to do two times four. I yeah, got caught doing that once. Forging. Huh? Yeah, forging a signature. Oh, shit. Signatures like that. I, I I used to take this uh. Like during during class, they'd pull me out, and I'd do this thing called Read One Eighty, where they pull out a couple kids from my class, and we go do like English and reading shit. Um, this was like back in elementary school, and we had a reading list. Like we had to like log our reading. We'd read a book at home, and then we would have to get it signed by our parents to show gross. that we re- read. It. Yeah, it was pretty fucking gross. And a guy like me that didn't want to read that yeah. much, it fucking sucked. Summer reading fucking sucked on its own, and yeah. they forced you to do that shit. Yeah. So what I did was I had taken I had cut out my mom's signature in one of the boxes. I cut, <laughs> he real life copied and pasted. Dude, <laughs> no joke. <laughs> so what I did is I cut it out. I cut out a square and then put it on the box that I needed to forge the signature on and I put it behind the paper so I can see like oh, and I would sh- like, shine a little bit it. of light. Yeah, and I traced it and I traced her signature and it looked really fucking good to me at too least. Good. That's probably what happened. It was probably too good, yeah. yeah. It looked like it was copy and paste, probably. I put a lot of work into it. Too. Yeah, that's probably the Like, thing. for a signature, I took 10 minutes. I was, like, super slow. So I didn't even understand the letters you were, like... Yeah, I, I didn't even know what I was writing. to you. Yeah. Damn. 
You're, you was writing Swahili for all you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking squiggles, you know the squiggle language. I'm fucking sorry. Wounds. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I fucking brought it to school, and then my teacher, I think, called my mother and was like, "Is this your signature?" Oh, of course, bitch. Like, come on. I remember one time in third grade, I was having stomach problems so bad, like. Like, dude, I was farting, like, every two minutes. <laughs> like, every two minutes, and, like, it stank. Like, it was bad. Like, my teacher, like, I was towards the corner, and there was, like, two kids next to me. Like, one on each side, and then the teacher was, like, at the very corner. She called it out. Not on me, but she was like, somebody has a gas problem. Oh, my God. And they need to get up and go to the nurse. Did you get up and go to Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I did not get up. I just... I um, know people were looking around. Yeah, dude. Just... Everybody was looking. I was looking at the people next to me. I was like, is it you? Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to do. That's the best way to cover up his fart and then look at the guy over you and give a like, dirty yeah, look. Like, 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 oh, I just want to say, whoever, whoever smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> 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 uh okay well all right so this is actually a perfect segue because you just mentioned the school nurse and i have something to talk about i want a nurse uh, okay you have something to say you can say it really quick yeah because okay. okay. you were talking about you know reading and shit i was gonna ask mm. what's the you know fastest you guys read a book fastest um like, mm, i would say it was like soldier x i think it was called for school no that was oh for school yeah oh or like Damn, I don't even... Because the only time I... I don't think I, I could answer that, because I either read, like, partially the books, or, like... Not at all. Yeah. Um, like, I went on, like, watched a fucking movie. Fucking get fucked, fucking uh, spark notes or some shit. I think one... I think the fastest book I've ever read... Like... Is, it, is that proper grammar? Fastest book I've ever read. I guess. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll say it is. <laughs> one of us are English teachers. The fastest book I ever read? I don't think... Wait, that's English. Yeah, wait a minute. The fastest... <laughs> this book I that shit to... was running away from you like <laughs> you had to catch that shit, that's yeah. why i taught myself you remember right. when your parents would be like wait when you're like i can't find something and then they're just like well did it just get up and walk away <laughs> that's what this book did to you and it was fast as fuck bro yeah, it was get the that fastest book. <laughs> Dude, Antonio has a story just running down the block after this book. <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't have taken those hits off of that fucking pen. That's a good podcast. Oh jeez. Um. Okay. So how do I say this? Um. The fastest I've ever read a book. There we go. Yes. Um. That that was proper. Grammar. That was proper. If I didn't say anything, if I didn't catch myself, do you guys no. would have you guys went along with it? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I was ready for you to keep going, like yeah. <laughs> Fuck English, dude. I just want to speak it as long as I can get my point across, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, dude, that's too fucking funny. I was crying. All right, so uh, there's something going on in uh, Germany right now. A doctor has been accused of injecting eight thousand and six hundred patients a uh, with sa- uh, yeah, a, a nurse was accused of. Injecting 8,600 people saline solution instead of the COVID vaccine. What's saline? Like, Th- that's like hand sanitizer, right? No, saline, no, that's like contact. Like the stuff you were to put your contact in and wash <gasps> oh, out with that shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Dude, she was injecting straight alcohol into these yeah. people's veins. And now apparently authorities are supposed to, like, they're trying to, like, administer a set, like, Get, like a refund, like a yeah, it's straight like up come back vaccine and get, refund. Come back, get another dose. So your first one was because of one crazy. It was yeah, it wasn't real because of one crazy bitch that just she's an anti vaxxer because she was an a, no, she was. It, oh, that's I, actually okay. Yeah, I didn't read into it that see, deep. That's some yeah. evil shit. Like you that's don't want to get evil. vaccinated because you I already feel like that's already. Yeah, selfish. I didn't even know it your was beliefs that dark. are determining the fate of. Thousands of lives. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Like, let, if you want to let natural selection do its thing on you and your go family, ahead. Mm. go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Don't do it don't to other do people. that shit to other people. That is evil. Mm. That's straight up evil. Because she could have killed people with that shit. Yeah, nurses have <laughs> a lot. Really ha- sick. Nur- dude, they have a lot of power. They have a lot of power with you, dude. Like even even just getting your blood work done or like get it getting an allergy shot or something or whatever. Yeah. 
they like if they don't take the air out of the the, the needle properly, they're gonna blow that that air that's trapped inside of the syringe into directly your into your vein. That burst your vein. Yeah, that's why they usually flick the top of the. Needle. Yeah, like that. If you ever see them like squirt a little bit out or something, flick it. Yeah, like wow, that's just to, to make sure the air is out, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not just like they're fucking with it to look cool. Yeah, yeah, it's be like, <laughs> hey, motherfucker, I'm about to inject you with this shit. <laughs> that's just the thing you do when you have a syringe. Yeah. Just you squirt it out a little bit and flick it. Like, yeah, be like, that's right, it's working. It's just like when you're trying to secure something on the back of a truck, and you're like, that's eh, not going anywhere. It's just it something. Goes you- everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something you have to say. But yeah, uh, crazy, crazy. I did, like wow. I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't know. When did this happen? I uh, just read this week. It really? came out. Yeah, I didn't know. And now it's not confirmed a hundred percent, right? But it's. I think she's just accused of it right now. It's most likely a hundred percent. Yeah, I was gonna but say eight thousand cases by law. It's not like legally mm-hmm. set that she's convicted. See, she's I accused. Know. Yeah, she's accused as of right Dude, now. Dude, like what, eight, what? over eight thousand people, bro. Yeah. Oh my fucking goodness. Little extreme. But not many pa- like how many patients a day? How was she doing it? That's what I want to know. Like how, how it was giving, possible? How long have they been giving the vaccine in the UK? I don't know. They were the worst in the beginning, so I would think they got administered the vaccine before we did. What? No, didn't are you, wait? What? Uh, weren't we the first? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I that's information I do not have. You know, we can look it up. Yeah, if you want. Um. Giovanni's the fact guy, ladies and gentlemen. When we are stuck on something, he he's the one to look it up. So applaud him. But thank you, thank you. That's just so fucked. Oh, it was the UK. Like, imagine that's you. Imagine you're one of those patients. Yeah, seriously, you thinking think you're, you're thinking you're fine. You're maskless, like yeah. And then nope. next thing you know, right, you so just got December twenty twenty. Is when the vaccine came out in the UK, and that was the first country to have the COVID vaccine. Okay, yeah. So almost a year ago. Uh, initial dose at the start of that month was 800,000 doses. So, I'm trying to think, like... Yeah, yeah, that's what they distributed for the first month, for mm-hmm. December 2020. So I'm trying to think, like, she was probably doing a couple hundred people a day. Oh, for, yeah. Or, and like, if maybe it's the a right, hundred of people a day, yeah. close to it, at least. And the process that's doesn't ta- lot, take long... Man. Cause didn't you say you got uh, Brandon? You got your vaccine in your car, right? Yeah. Really? Th- so I was in my car when I got it. Really? Yeah. How did you get yours? I went to a, like actual like facility. Really? You went to, I, I, I just went to Walgreens and got mine. You went to Walgreens. I went yeah. to like Raritan Center. I had to go oh, to wow. um, yeah, like North Brunswick or wherever the Rutgers. That's where they did like shit. a drive through. Yeah. What? Yeah, I stood in my car, and then while I was waiting in the car, because I went out early in the morning, I was like 9.30 at a show up for my 10 o'clock shot. Mm. Bro, there was so many people there, I was able to roll a blunt. I was going to say, like, that's probably what I would do while I'm waiting. <laughs> yes, I, I smoked on my way there. Ease my nerves. <laughs> just waiting for this shot, just like... I think just I, I was chilling. better. Chilling. Yeah, I was hitting my pen there, and I was like, it's going to be like in and out. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's, and then I'm out. Yeah, like, so shot. imagine that, just... But no, mad people, bro. Like bumper to bumper. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a lot of people at nurses seeing. And then uh, administering that. Bow, 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 bow. After I got my shot, I had to park up for like 15 minutes. Yeah. 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 Just in case you have any allergic reaction. They had a whole like half of that building. Just like those giant warehouses. Just an empty warehouse. Yeah. In the back of Raritan Center. I don't know if you guys know the buildings Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, but they're huge. Mm. And they literally had like military personnel in there being good. They were were the ones like working for the most part. Like I'm pretty sure everybody except the people administering the vaccine was military. Like the people that took our information, the people that had us wait in lines. They were all military personnel. What if, what if it was an actual secret military mission, and instead of them injecting you with the COVID vaccine, it's they were a actually in, like a microchip, dude? I mean, yeah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> like, what but, f- or like, what if it's like the super soldier serum? They're turning you guys into brainless fucking Good. soldiers. I'd rather Good. that than no. But you like literally mind be control. Steve Rogers myself, like On running after a car. <laughs> yeah. No, like, like, be they, they turn than you the into car. a clone. though. that's what I'm going with. You're, you're like a clone Captain America, like Star Wars. Like, yeah, you guys how are... they just get like brainwashed. Yeah, and shit yeah, that's it. Six. Yeah, they're, they're not just, just like, they're not just giving you superpowers. Execute just... all communists. Pretty much, yeah. 
execute order 69 and then <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the podcast guys so. <laughs> <laughs> execute order 69 that's fucking great kill all communists that's for americans Order oh, 69, and then we go and fucking, yeah, exterminate the communists. I want to hire a uh, voice actor that does Palpatine, and I want him to Ew. say that line. Execute order 69. And then I want to put it over the movie. <laughs> <laughs> just edit it in there. Yeah, and then every time we watch that that movie, it's just that we one, watch that everything's one. Everything's normal except yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Anytime we watch it, that's the one we watch. Wait, <laughs> totally with that. Okay with that, yeah. Execute order sixty nine, and then nice. we fucking laugh like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You saw that movie? <laughs> Have you seen Beavis and Butthead yes, Do America? Yes, we saw it. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude, such a funny. It's free on YouTube. I was watching it a couple days ago. It was again. on Netflix yeah, when we saw it. Shit. I remember. I think we were like coming down from a trip, and then. I threw it on, and Dude, then, honestly, the that beginning. was such <laughs> him terrorizing the town, the city. Uh, so stupid. This, yeah, like, they're so was... stupid. Like they were what? They were on the couch looking at you know where the TV would be, <laughs> 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 and it kept going back and forth to them, the TV, them, the TV, and he was like, "Dude, I think something's wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Like, I like stupid comedy, but that was like a bit much for me. The Beavis first and Butthead was like the first thing stupid. The first thing he said to me, he was like, "Bro, how dumb are these guys?" Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Yeah, dude, Beavis oh, and Butthead, dude. Oh my fucking goodness! Uh, shit's so fun. Re- really quick, I want to backtrack because uh, we were talking about COVID before. Uh, Starland Ballroom. I just want to touch on that. I, I want to get your guys. I want to bring that up that. too. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, here you, you you can get the floor. You tell Giovanni about Starland. It's uh, it's like where bands go to perform. Oh you know I mean? yes, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yes, in Sarahville. Yes. So what they're doing? They just uh, they, I told you right on the podcast earlier mm-hmm, that they yeah. made the post. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think? Like, I mean, the vaccination card should be needed. Yes. For yeah. Sure? Yes. Okay. That's All an right. event where we're going to be like shoulder to shoulder with people. If I want to make okay. sure the people next to me are also vaccinated and not spreading, you know, just untreated COVID. All right. Cool. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah. If you want to go and enjoy a show, like, get vaccinated. Exactly. It's literally it, that simple. It's free. And it's free. And if you don't want to get gonna vaccinated, be there, like, then just don't be upset that you can't go to shows. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Facts. You know, one of my, uh, co-workers actually ex-co-worker you literally got fired today but really? anyways yeah. yeah anyways different story um different story another time another time today though yeah, yeah. i can do it like after this one okay but you, <laughs> you worked today right i did yeah Holy so like shit. dude i got all right hold on wait <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're jumping ahead we're jumping ahead wait <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was I saying before? <laughs> God damn it. Girl, I want to know about this beer. Starland Ballroom, you need vaccination cards to attend the shows. And if you don't want it, then you can't attend the show. Oh, yeah. My co-worker was fucking... Uh-huh. Ex-co-worker was <laughs> fucking... Uh, all of us have the pin that says, I'm vaccinated. Right? Just, you know, the extra assurance to guests and whatnot when they walk he in wasn't whatever. No, he never got it. And he's all up in that place, up and down, no Maskless. mask, no nothing, because oh, we don't wear a mask at the job. Oh, you don't have to wear a mask anymore? No Nobody does, so I was going to, since I started there. Oh, shit. Yeah. So he didn't want to wear a mask, and I said, why? And he said, because the government put some shit in there, like, completely serious. And I'm just like... Is your coworker Bill Clinton, by the way? No, no. Okay, Not is- your voice impression of your coworker sounded like. Bitcoin. I just wanted to make him sound kind of <laughs> dumb. That's, that's that was my goal there. Are you calling our president Bill Clinton dumb? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun. Next episode. <laughs> yeah, right. The podcast. Just twist up the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so um, next story. I don't know that many details about it, but I get home. It's like I got home at like four. I had to stay like a whole extra hour at work. It fucking sucked, but. Another story for another time. <laughs> Maybe after this one. Okay. But wait, wait is this, this how he got fired? Or why? Yeah, that's fired? what I'm saying. Like I don't know a lot of details about it, but oh, okay. I was home for 
maybe like two, three hours. It was like maybe six, seven o'clock. Hmm. And my manager was like, he sent a text to the group chat, remove the one guy from the group chat already. And then he was like, hey guys, so so and so is not going to be with us no more. Uh, we're going to need help covering the night audit. Ooh. <laughs> you got to find out why. why he's I, I am. I am because he's going to have all of us working one to two nights. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, so you got to work at night soon? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't want that to shit to stick, though. Mm-hmm. Like, once they find somebody part-time, full-time, I'll be like, yo, I'm being the first one out. Like, somebody pointed a gun at me before. Like, fuck that shit. Yeah, do you want to tell that story here on the podcast? Sure. Think, we did. We did... I think we breeze over we did, a little like, bit, but you never, yeah, it, right? you, you didn't go into details about what so, happened. So this was at the old property before I moved to this one, and there was I was working a night audit, so it was eleven p- p.m. to seven a.m. and this was at like six thirty in the morning. Your shift was almost over, dude. I just so close to going the fuck home, and this couple comes into the lo- uh, to the lobby, like a small white girl and, and uh. Taller, taller, you know. Hispanic, man. Yeah, I think it was Hispanic, actually. Yeah, yeah. you told me. Um, yeah, so they come in and they're arguing and they park themselves, like, right next to the uh, doorway that leads into the back office. Like, the girl stopped right in front of there. And I hear them talking. I'm just sitting in my, in the, behind the desk in the back office, just with, on my laptop watching, like, anime or whatever show I was watching at that time just waiting to get the fuck up on out of there. And she's like talking about like, no, I don't want to go back to the room. Like you're scaring me. Like, I don't want to really be with you no more. I want to be around you. I want to leave. I want to go home, this, that, this, that. And then, so I stand up to just make my presence noted, like noted, like, so they know they're not arguing to nobody, like I'm right behind the fucking wall there. Yeah, so hearing kind of like watch what you say. Yeah, shit. like I'm hearing everything, and so like I take a glance, take like two glances, and then he takes the initiative to be like, "Yo, you like you good back there? Like you good over there?" I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm just minding my own business." That was that. I sat back down. Then she goes to sit. Because he was getting loud with me, she goes and sits in the middle of the lobby where we have that really long couch. You guys remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that super long couch. So she sat there facing me, um, and he went to follow her. And then, like, not even five minutes later, like, maybe two minutes pass after they're just talking. It's just quiet near me. And I'm kind of, like, just getting the vibes that, like, this guy is, like, really, like, not all mentally here. Like, there's something up with this dude. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, let me just play it safe, and I'm going to go ahead and text the cops. And, like, I didn't know if that was going to work, but I didn't want to be on the phone being like, hey, I need you guys to come here. Yep, this address, this place, this dude is an asshole. And, yeah, yeah, I didn't want to do that super loud, so I just put 911 into the text message. And then I was just like, hey, this is my address. I need a, I need an officer on site ASAP. So you didn't know that would work? No. You just kind of... Yeah, I, I guessed. Holy I shit, and it worked? Gonna work. Yeah, and somebody answered. I was like, no fucking way. Like, wow. Imagine that you sent a te- text back and it just said OMW. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> or imagine you said LOL. Yeah. <laughs> XD. Yeah, sends, LOL. Sends, sends, a, <laughs> sends a game at 8-Ball. <laughs> oh my God. A gif. Yeah, be like, here man, take your mind off of it. <laughs> but no, so like they answer, they're like, all right, what's, what's your name? This, that, like... Basically what? dispatch information. Yeah, but dispatch information. So I did all that, and then we're going back and forth. And then, like like I was saying, like two minutes go by, and this guy comes back to the back office, and he peeks his head just like... like through the know, doorway. Like, yeah, just like, just his head through the doorway. And all he says is, yo, you got ID? And I was like, no. He's like... So then when I said no, he was like... He put like, like a puzzle face on, like he was confused. And then he took the initiative to go further, like, step into the back office. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Nada. Nuh-uh. None no of that. Else. So, so this motherfucker steps into the back office. He's like, you got identification? And I was like, no. He's like, what do you mean you don't have it? I was like, I don't have it for you. And when I said that, that's when he started taking steps towards me. And keep in mind, both his hands are, like, in his coat pockets at the time. So it's looking like, it's looking like this. 
like basically like this, like almost like yeah. he's pointing something at me. You know what I mean? So I don't know what it was in his pockets, but my assumption was like a knife. That's what I thought it was. Like this guy has a knife in his pocket and he's about to just pull it out and like shank you. Yeah, like real quick, like or not even just like to try and threaten me, like mm-hmm. to stop me from like calling the cops or reporting what I saw and heard. Because he knew he was being, like, out of line and whatnot. So, I just was just, like, when he kept walking up to me, I was just like, hey, man, we got no problem. We got no problems here. I'm just minding my own business. Literally, there was just anime on my laptop. Just like, there ain't no problem. There's just anime titties just, like, you know, bouncing yeah. up and down. I'm just like, there ain't no problem here, man. You're watching your there ain't hentai. no problem. Yeah, yeah, my hentania. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the, you know, I was just like, just made it clear to him that like, it's just you and your just do what you got to do, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I ain't involved in that. I don't want no parts either. So he was like, but I got away with not showing him no ID either. So he was like, all right, all right. And then he turns around. He's like, everybody in here is a pussy. Talking and, to like, basically nobody. Yeah. Talking to nobody. Cause I don't give a fuck. Cops are on their way. Just like, bitch, dick. you better get yeah, back. Yeah. Fucking ass wipe. So he walks back into the lobby Seven o'clock comes. My shift was never on time. So it was like I had to wait till like 7.15. Then my shift arrives. And this dude is smoking a fucking cigarette in the middle of the lobby. Like to see if I would get up and say something to him. Like just asking for me to say something to him. Mm. So he comes to the back. He saw what happened, but he, he put it, thank God, he put it together in his head that like, all right, Giovanni would normally say something. Let me try and talk to him first. So he went to the back office and I was like, yo. Shut the fuck up, sit down next to me, and we're going to ride this one out. And so he did, and we just kept waiting like 10 minutes. I filled him in on everything that was happening, waited like another 10 minutes, and the then... you didn't say nothing until... No, no, but yeah, like, but they were like eye contact the whole way that he was went from the from the entrance to the back office. It was just eye contact between them two. I saw it all in the cameras. Really? Mm-hmm. So that's what I was saying, like, I was praying, like, Augustine, don't be a fucking dumbass and say some and to say some dude. shit to this guy that's clearly off his rocks. Yeah. So, so, so we're chilling. Ten minutes go by, and then he, they both get up from the the middle of the lobby, come to the back area, and at first she steps in and she's just like, "I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for causing a scene, and that it's basically like it's all her fault." And so when. We were like, oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, just go back to the room, this, that, this, that. That's when the dude stepped in and was like, like, basically, like, say it again. Like, get that point across that it's her fault that all the arguing and, and, he, oh, and he, said, he said to her, say it again. Basically, yeah. Like, not oh. in those exact words, but like, like, he stood right behind her. Like, he came back once she was already done apologizing and everything. He went behind her and was like, yeah, you, you, like, basically say it again. I don't remember exactly what he said, but she apologized like you again. You tell him. Type yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. And so when when uh, my coworker was like, all right, that's fine. You guys can just go back to your room. The guy was about to do something. I don't know what he was about to do. But that's exactly the moment that the cops walked through the front entrance. They already know, like, vaguely what's happening. So mm. when they saw a dude not in uniform, stand, like, him. in the back office type shit, he was just like, Sir, back away from the office. Get out of there. Edison police. Don't move. You know, whole shebang. And so they, they patted him down. They, or I told them to pat them pat him down because I had a mm. feeling he had a weapon. And they talked to the girl. The girl at the moment um, defended him saying that he just did a little too much uh, alcohol. But that it seemed like he was off something else, clearly. And then... They, I see, they don't tell me anything, but I see them put the guy in handcuffs, mm. behind hands behind his back and everything, and take him outside. Like, just didn't say a word to me. And then there's like six of them standing in front of the front desk, just talking out the whole situation, trying to get this girl to confess that this dude was not the nice dude that she was trying to make him sound like. Mm. And <clears throat> she wouldn't budge on that. They knew she was lying for him. But then I asked... Uh, one of them said something about a weapon. That's how they described it, a weapon. They didn't say, like, a knife, a gun, nothing. A weapon. A weapon. So I was like, what weapon was it? Like, he basically pointed it at me. And they were like, what? Like, the one guy that said a weapon, he didn't say nothing. He didn't know what to say. Somebody else stepped in and said, 
it's okay. You don't need to know. It's, you know, we have it under control. Don't worry about it anymore. And so they keep talking about it. I walk off to the side and I'm still listening. And then I hear one of them say that he had a gun on him. Really? And like, like a half a weed. Wow. Wow. And then not only that, but a couple days later, uh, I wasn't working at the time. My coworker was. She got the call from the girl that was being abused. And basically saying that when she went to stand in front of the back office, that that was like her asking me for help. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, help me. Like, please realize there's something going on and do something about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awful that she was in that situation. Mm Mm-hmm. That's awful. I wonder what happened to that dude. wonder what happened to her. Fuck that dude. Yeah. No, I'm like, I I wonder if he, you know. And she was a Hilton member. She was under, she was working for Hilton. Yeah, she booked that room under her, um team member like our employees yes exactly so she got fired but i hope that dude like got locked up i hope so yeah that's what i'm saying like i I wonder what happens to like a public property in in a state where gun laws are very very strict and was it weed illegal at the time yes yeah yes and they caught him with a shit ton so that they had no problem telling me he's locked up for a while hopefully yeah. yeah fuck that guy he's a fucking piece of shit Damn. Yeah, fuck it. And that's oh. why I said, like, I don't oh. care if he's in I jail, hope he's sleeping like... next to Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> sup. Yeah, <laughs> what's up, bitch? Yo, but um, next time, if you do need, like, if you want that inside information, you should be like, yeah, can you tell me everything you can? I need to report this back to my main boss. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, literally all the details. Yeah. Yeah, I say, like, like I need can. to fill out paperwork and I need to know... Exactly. Pro- yeah, it'd be like, there's protocol for this. Like, mm-hmm. if cops are involved. No, it makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Like, they can't be like, oh, damn, we can't withhold information. Like, it involved me. How the fuck are you going to withhold information? Yeah, and you're the one who called that's the cops. That's what I'm fucking thinking that, about. Yeah, like, yeah. I literally, yeah, like, I did call a fucking cop, Yeah, basically. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you should, yeah. Now you're and, not going to tell me what the fuck happened. Yeah, future reference, if it ever happens, hopefully it doesn't, you know, you know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Damn, that's a wild story. Yeah, so that's why it's kind of like nerve wracking for me to go back and do the so night the audit again because I would be. I never did it since then. That was my last night doing the night audit. I said, "Yo, f- fuck that!" And my manager just said, "You have a metal stick here. Next time you should use it. If you stood your ground, he would have backed off. He's a punk." And I was like, "Like I just looked at him like I had three heads. Like he had three heads." People are like, stupid, yo. They think like, what like. Like, Your he ex- really thinks I could have handled that better, like, without the People potential think- of getting, like, fucking pistol whipped or, or shot, shot in the leg. Yeah. Like, or killed. Killed, exactly. Like, the dude wasn't all there. And he's like, oh, yeah, I rewatched the cameras. It doesn't look like he had it in his pocket when he but was talking to thing. you. that's the thing. Like, people aren't there. People don't mm-hmm. know. That's why I, I hate And as an employee, aren't you trained not to act, but to only, yes. like, yes. get people somewhere safe talking. and call 911? Yes. That, yes. Yeah. Yes. I hate when people try to tell you what you... Should have done in that or situation. Or should have done, or what you think you heard. Not even, not even that. When they're, I hate, I hate it more when they're like, you know, well, if I was in the situation, I would have done this, this, and this. I hate that more than them saying, oh, you should have done this. I hate yeah. when people be like, you heard wrong when you're explaining your story. Yeah, or, like, or like he's trying to tell me that what I should have done because he rewatched the cameras. Exactly, like, like, you were there yourself. firsthand. Yeah. Like that, that pisses me off. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. So they made it sound like I just got punked, basically. Like I was the bitch, but like dude had a gun in his hand. Yeah. Basically, you're looking, you're looking out me, for like, your own well being. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm, I'm just watching anime, man. I'm here for yeah. the paycheck. Like you think I'm gonna defend this place for you? You got me fucked yeah. up. I'm not gonna get I'm, into a fist fight with a dude that potentially has a weapon. Like when that I when isn't... I was talking it over with my coworker at the time, I literally said that like what you guys told me to do was bring a spoon to a gunfight. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is the, wrong with you? A knife would be better in a gunfight than yeah. that yeah. stick. Yeah, like, it had a kind of pointed edge, but it's not nothing for, like, stabbing. It's like, yeah. I would have to smack you over the head with it. It's that a shit. blunt object. Yes. Basically. Yes. That's retarded. Heavy enough to do damage, though. It would definitely do a lot of damage if you but hit like, hard enough. think about it. He's got a gun on him, and even if he didn't want to use it right away, if I'm beating the absolute shit out of him, trying to kick him out and bitch his ass with mm. the fucking stick... What's to stop him from pulling out the gun? 
second. You can shoot a gun in seconds, bro. That's and that's like, seconds, if you don't see it, bro. you know, you're going to see the gun when it's at, almost pointed at you. You're going to see it. So you don't yeah. have a lot you're of You're going to see it when hack. it's too late, but you're going to hear yeah. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's facts. Yeah. Yeah. Probably hear it before I see it. Mm-hmm. That's awful. Yeah. So that's what they told me to do. Mm. Put my life on the line for the hotel. And that shit's going into the ground. You got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. Aaron McDuffie, if you hear this shit, you're a bitch. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Fuck you. Speaking Aaron. of uh, speaking of people, uh, um, being bitches, being bitches. Uh huh. Um, well, not exactly, but um, more of not seeing the shot. Oh yes. Yeah. You did mention this. What is yeah. this? Yeah. Seeing the shot too late. So this is in the Olympics. I'm about to show a video. It's going to be on the uh, screen for people watching home on YouTube. Um, so at the Olympics, something just happened where two guys were in a kickbox. It was Olympic kickboxing. Two guys were fighting. And at the last round of this fight, the dude gets knocked out. The dude that got knocked out won. Wow. Really? He got the gold medal. Because the other dude that knocked him out got disqualified. Why? Do you, why? I'll show, I'm going to show you guys the video first. Full screen. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the video is going to start in three, two, one. Now. Right, him on the board. Lost the gold medal. Yeah, I feel like there was like some behind the scenes shit going on to make sure this guy won or something. But like, no, that is awful. That That's There's awful. nothing behind the scenes. That's just how stupid the Olympics are. And to prove how, how stupid it is, the Olympics does taekwondo, does karate, does kickboxing. In Taekwondo, in the Olympics, you can knock motherfuckers out. It's fine to knock them out. Yes, yeah, so I don't understand how they but judged it, his kick being too there's strong. No because knockout. it's too much damage. But. Because there's certain... In mixed martial arts, some sports, like like certain kickboxing, even jujitsu and stuff, it's all based on points. And I guess how the Olympics do their rules for the Olympic kick- kickboxing is they're not going for knockouts. You're going for points and you're not trying to go for significant damage. You're just trying to land strikes. Dude, who the fuck cares? Yeah. And like, then, okay. You're here. literally competing to be the best by any means. Like, and now watch this. The guy pretty much did it to himself. Cause look, didn't he, he like step into the, kick yeah, too? exactly. Yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what I was going to point out. The man stepped in, steps into the kick. Bow. Look, he leaned into it. Yeah. And like at that point, I'm like, you and look, lost. you hear everybody you applauding. Lost fair and square. You hear everybody applauding. You hear the judges like speaking highly of him, like, "Oh, he knocked him out," and then gets disqualified. Everyone thought he won. And when was this? What year? This just happened. Oh, this was at the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You you see, that, that's... That, that the guy that just told him he got disqualified. Freaking. The, how dramatic he was, the freaking X, and yeah, he was speaking, Japanese. speaking the Japanese. Oh. That's awful. Yeah, Tokyo 20. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, that's... Can I go back to Pro Tools? That's terrible. So, that just kind of, like, made me rethink how the entire Olympics, Olympics like, works. Mm-hmm. Not even, like, maybe how it works, but specifically for, like, the fighting events and stuff like that. Like, the really physical sports. Because, like, how do you judge now what counts as a point and what doesn't? Like, Yeah, that's ridiculous. That is stupid. If you knock the dude out, you won. That, yeah, he that's won the fight. Yeah, that's immediate victory for yeah. me. Like, yeah. you're trying to be the best. Mm. You're the la- last one standing. And also, that that's not even that bad. Because it's I'm not, not sure if you noticed. Because in kickboxing, they actually use shin and foot pads. Mm-hmm. I used to use it when I was in karate, yeah, this, when I was, was doing was that, sparring. Was that what was covering his foot there? Yeah, it's literally like a shin guard, like in soccer, but it also has padding covering the foot. So when you land those kicks, you're just kind of getting hit by foam. It still hurts depending on the force of it. Yeah, of course. And if you get clipped right on the on the chin, but still, like it's not that drastic. If you get knocked out from that, yeah, you definitely you definitely lost. Like, yeah, no doubt that's about what I'm saying. Like. I don't know. Every everything was fine. The dude's technique was beautiful. There was nothing illegal throughout that. Fight. And was he the he was the one with the the lead as well, right? It was showed four to one. Yeah, he yeah. was the one with four. The dude that lost. Yeah. So, wow. He won by technicality. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, he should feel like a dirt bag because he won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He should. That, that, bu- that bugged me out. That after uh, I, I saw that, I'm honestly like 
See that that left me sad. speechless. Yeah, because imagine speechless. that was you. Imagine yeah. you were in the. He Olympics. put his entire life, all that into training, a, for that moment, just and to for, get that beautiful qualified. kick. You're too good, just for a qualified. small Japanese man to be like. And the, yeah, and that's not often to land kicks, beautiful kicks like that. Dude, yeah, it's not that was... often like this, like just the numbers. It's not often you land a beautiful that kick accuracy. like that. But that accuracy, that clean knockout, you don't see that often. Even in the UFC, you don't. Yeah, that's and nuts. He was, I guarantee you, the second he landed, he was so fucking proud of himself. Yeah. He found like he felt like he succeeded. And then for he that knows man, he won. That I little, feel like little little China man wearing his suit that looked too small on him, fucking disqualifies him i feel like he knows he won he definitely knows he has yeah. to yeah he was he's definitely sad he doesn't have the medal yeah, to go along with it but he knows. knows and everybody else knows. and i feel like anybody who knows fighting like like you mm-hmm. like you watch a lot of mma and whatnot i think they would agree that yeah he won the fight yeah hands down that like he had the points to back it up and he got the fucking knockout yeah like, come on yeah like what are they turning olympics into like baby sports like you can't hit him too hard Mm. This is a fighting sport. You're competing to be the best in the world, but don't hit him too hard. Don't make no fucking sense to me. Yeah. That should be like Mortal Kombat fight to the death type shit. Yeah, the Olympics are weird. I know a bunch of people like like watch the Olympics. I check out the highlights. I keep up to date with like who won. Like uh the I can't fuck. I was only interested in the skateboarding. The skateboarding was really that cool. That was that was interesting. There's a couple ra- the, the weird like out of out of the world kind of sports that you don't normally see. Like I like, saw the the um underwater swimming, fancy swimming, fancy swimming. Oh, you and it's like I mean? choreographed, right? Yeah, it's a bunch yeah, yeah. of them, and they do like they make like formations, like they'll all make like a perfect circle or something like that. Is, Is that it? what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. What's it oh, called? Oh, I think it's I, called. Like, I don't know what it's called, but well, yeah, where it is choreographed and they do. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that I was in the that. Olympics. I didn't yeah. know that was in the Olympics. Imagine either. holding your breath for that long, mm. like trying to make all these fancy formations and everything. I didn't under even the water. think about that, dude. I was just watching it, like, holy shit, this and, is pretty and good. They're but, exerting yeah. a lot of energy just yeah. moving around and swimming and then making those formations Damn. on top of it. Like, you got to have iron lungs. Seriously. Yeah. Holy shit, I didn't think about Swimmers that. Swimmers are different fucking. A Michael breeder. Phelps, yeah, dude, won just... the, all the seven gold medals that one time, mm-hmm. and then they tried to shame him for smoking weed. You like you, Michael? Phelps. I was Don't reading. About about it. I was reading a thing about Usain Bolt just just today. Usain Bolt it, smokes weed too. He does too. I believe what a, so. What a fucking cool dude, dude. Yeah. And yeah. just to top off how He's cool Jamaican. he is, yeah. I, I I'm not gonna get this right. I'm gonna butcher what I'm trying to say, but I was reading something about Usain Bolt and the amount of time he has eight Olympic gold medals. It has only been on the track for a certain amount of time to the point every 36 seconds he was on the track, he earned a gold medal. He wasn't on that that track for that long. That's how fast he is. He has eight Olympic gold medals, and it only took him 30, technically only took him 36 seconds for each gold medal. Really? Yeah. That man's fast. Fast. fast as fuck. And weird. think about how much... Forget the fucking gold medals. Think about how much money this man has made. Well, think. I mean, moving that fast, you can, yeah. you can get point, All point those A to point B, and like, because <laughs> like, because oh, yeah, that that too. those those races aren't that long because no. of how fast they are. So think about how how much time he is on that track to then walk off with millions. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> said he's like, all right, honey, I'm gonna go race. Comes back two minutes later, like, all right, honey, oh. we're millionaires. All right, honey, I won the race. Yeah, <laughs> like, want to see me do it again? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like SpongeBob. Yeah. Dude, oh, my God. And imagine having that fucking kind of money, dude. Like, you know, that's the crazy thing about having money like that. Like, being that successful and gaining that much money that quick is like, he can go out to dinner and not need to worry. Yeah. Isn't that, like... I want yeah, that. Just literally not even look at your bank account. Financial. Not even yeah. look at the paycheck. Not, not, like, not, the break, bill, not I mean. break a sweat. Just be able to yeah. go out with the three of us. Be like, we all I'm going to order this, like, this, and this. You guys order whatever you want. Worry you. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spend $100 each on our meals. And it That's just don't even break a sweat. Dude, and it doesn't even make a dent in your bank account. That's just being rich, though. That's how it is being rich. Yeah. You don't have to be an Olympic gold medalist I tell, for I tell you both to eat a, a bowl of caviar. Yeah, seriously. Or get the fucking the most expensive steak. Caviar is really expensive. I want a golden steak. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I know they have. Oh my uh, god, the golden steak. Yeah. I, I want know. Salt Bay to make me a steak. You ever seen the tomahawk steak with all those big ones? Yeah, yeah. Even those I want to mm-hmm. try. Those are mad expensive, bro. Yeah, I, like I said, I want Salt Bay to make me a nice fucking. Okay, okay. You ever see the meme where he's like flicking pieces of meat with his knife and like yeah, he, yeah. he edits it so like he gets smacked in the face by a piece of the beef? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He'll sometimes feed people the meat, like he'll cut it up for them all nice and then stab it and be like, yeah, fuck yeah he'll, right? And it's weird. He doesn't just like kind of put it forward. He like dangles he does, like, it a little you, so you have to like, eh, eh, like, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. weirdo. Like, <laughs> it, like he enjoys it. It's kind of weird. I don't know. And like the thing that he got famous, rich and famous, just huh? by doing his little salt pose, he, he was putting literal salt on steak. And the way he did it got him famous. If someone never yeah. captured that on Instagram, to make easy cash, just be some chef. Yeah, he would just be a five chef. star chef somewhere. <laughs> you see the power of the internet? We made some fucking bullshit. Memes are literally like power. Yeah. Like, if you become a meme, like you're just you're just known. Meme everywhere. is money now. There's yeah. fucking Dogecoin. The baby. Yeah. yeah. Dogecoin exactly. Dogecoin. Like, there's money. Crazy. The baby was never as popular as he was until he became a meme. Yeah. Like that's he was true. he was big. Don't get me wrong. He was huge. People were really like bumping his music, but that's what turned him into the meme was mm. that popularity growing. Dude turned into a meme and then it just exploded and yeah. now the baby's forever. Let's go. Like, yeah, that, exactly. Dude, Me Kenyon made a video about it. Like, yeah. exactly. That's how big I he pull is. Up. And it wasn't yeah, it was <laughs> making fun of the meme. It wasn't even about the baby. <laughs> It was I'm making fun of the up. meme, yeah. Yeah, making You're fun right. of the, the baby meme. Not like, I'm pretty sure that guy has no idea about the baby. How do you guys feel about this statement? Um, this was brought up on a stream I was watching a couple weeks ago, where they were talking about uh, music pretty heavy, and one guy was saying he said that years ago, um, he said that memes is going to be the future of music. And mm. when you think about it, there's not a huge fan base for the really like, sub- substantial stuff that we kind of like. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like like the like the funny haha music? No. What do you mean? Well, like, yeah, like the TikTok music. That would be like the meme music. But you okay. just need that like 10 second clip to get, you know, uh, oh, viral yeah, yeah. on a TikTok it's... meme or an Instagram meme, whatever. You just see that catchy hook, that yes. catchy jingle And then that or song blows up. The, f- yeah. the the band that blows up after that and then you're just golden after all that. because of tiktok that's all it. because of instagram that that 10 to 15 second clip of your song so yeah. so you're saying that there's a potential the music so instead of us having normal three minute songs it's going to be these 15 no, second but, but clips you know those clips are from songs right well yeah 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 but that's what i'm saying that's the future of, of music that i'm not saying like people are only going to listen to the memes they that's where they're going to get their music from their source of music will be oh. will be from TikTok and Instagram rather okay. than being like. But I mean, like memes artists. in general. But like, yes, TikTok is probably the best example. Yeah, just because yeah, yeah. it's music, it's that's what memes turned into, really. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess. But uh, I know I see. I know what you mean. Because TikTok was musically. So. That's true. Yeah, if artists crack that code, where it's like they just need to get that catchy fifteen second part of their song. That's it. Hmm. That's People it. are going to be like, oh, what's that song? I like it because I heard it in this. It made me laugh. They're going to mm-hmm. go to that. Yeah, this content creator made a, a funny trend video. Mm-hmm. And it's got a million likes. I want to know what song that is so I can try and do the trend too. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, mad people copy that that song, that trend. And yeah, pretty much. Like, I imagine, won't lie. Imagine. There has been times on TikTok where I've heard a song. I'm like, ooh, what is that? And I there went you and looked go. it up. There you go. So I think that just goes to verify that I think it's true. I'm convinced. Yeah, these artists just need to find out what is catchy mm-hmm. and what goes with the music or the memes. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, some of the golden. some of them that do blow up, some of the trends and whatnot, they are like you know meme music where it's not like a legit song or anything, mm-hmm. but it's just like that's what happened to get catchy and trending. Yeah, I know the backyard against one that got trending recently the castaways one yeah castaways. <laughs> we are castaways i uh, hate like that that one and into the thick of it dude <laughs> oh <laughs> my god that, one. that one's fucking annoying dude, i hate I, that bro. I, 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 see, I don't care what it is because you I get those tiktok dude it. anytime i hear that that fucking sound it's tiktok thoughts that's it dude uh, and it's like 
half the people who are making those TikToks with that music are adults. Like, bro, the fuck up. Yeah. You look weird, bro. <laughs> Honestly. People think... start looking like clowns on TikTok. Like, they try to be trendy, but it gets to a point like, be dude. a little too unique, my dude, guy. Like, yeah. all that's not that... your niche. Dude, Go find a different one. You're 37 and you're wearing tie-dye. Chill out. Like, you're, you're trying to be too hip. <laughs> and you're trying to call a ninja or something? <laughs> <laughs> with his blue hair <laughs> wasn't it a uh, different color at first it was pink wasn't it oh. yeah. about ninja? did he ever have pink hair he I did he did he have did, pink right? hair I think it was pink. blue first you gotta conjure was up it blue? a ninja it was blue first and it, then it has to, yeah cause his whole theme has it always was been blue, blue. It, it was yeah. blue and then I think he I know he pink. had blue yeah, yeah, yeah I thought yeah, it was yeah. blue I think now. he did pink for breast cancer awareness I think that's the only reason why he did pink yeah I'm not a I'm not a ninja fan though. I mean, so. yeah, no. I'm my ninja, ninja lore is invert. Uh, I know uh, he's in Fortnite up to date. Yeah. <laughs> no, like legit. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, in no, Fortnite. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. yeah. That's why I say. I was about to say like no shit. Like that's where he got fucking famous from. <laughs> uh, like, People he, listening. No way, ninjas in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's change the topic. It was like limited time skin. You can't get it now. I don't like ninja on our podcast. <laughs> anyway, valuable time going to waste here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, we could be talking about literally anything else. Fortnite. Oh my god. Remember when they did the what Travis Scott concert? Oh Dude, yeah, I was there. The marshmallow concert. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was actually there for the marshmallow concert, though. I was there for that I one. The that Travis was the Scott first one. one they did. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's why I was there, to be mm-hmm. honest. Travis we were still Scott. playing it back then. What if bit. we were in the yeah, same like server? The end of our, 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 our life cycle of Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. What, what if we were in the same server when the Travis Scott thing happened because you guys said you watched the travis Scott I, show? I, I watched it off of instagram i oh, saw it all okay. yeah pretty much oh i actually played during the event my, yeah for, yeah my friends all I, I i don't know when it, what time it happened but my friends hit me up they're like hey that travis scott shit's happening on fortnite you want to hop on like i was like fuck it i guess it was it's kind of cool, cool right it was I'm cool not, i'm not gonna lie the marshmallow one was cool too it was Some, cool kind of corny but it, yeah, was, exactly. it was fun the yeah, coolest yeah. thing i thought and I did was just the events at the end of the season. Yes, yes. It's like you know the in-game events. Oh, how they changed the, the first, map here and there. Yeah. Especially and the first couple seasons. Yeah, oh, like that shit. That's what cool. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like Fortnite was good when it first I still came have out. The original John Wick skin. I know, bro. The Reaper. Yeah, yeah. I want that. I wish. Then man. they remade it, and everybody. You remember Tristan? He thought yeah. he was so cool because he had it. I was like this out yeah. <laughs> yeah. little, little eight year old that was just like just ruined his day that just took funny. a whole shit on his John Wick skin oh, you got man. the cooler OG I do god uh, damn alright let's not talk about Fortnite I'm anyways the next Fortnite, Fortnite event is <laughs> the the Star Wars one remember they did that All right, here's, here's the kind of cool segue for Fortnite right do you guys think Fortnite is going to be the first, like, what's it called? Metaverse? Is that the, the term I'm looking for? Where it's like the movie the Ready Ultraverse Player One? type shit? Where it's like Ready Player One? The Megaverse. Uh, is that what it is? I don't know. Oh, well, the we can Oasis? Call it that. We can call it that, yeah. Like the how they Megaverse had... or Oasis? I think that's what it was called a game. In, in Ready Player One. I think we already everybody had. everybody was there. Yes. Put in, you, that's uh, what it's called, the Megaverse? No, the Oasis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it was mm-hmm. called, yeah. The, me- yeah. the Megaverse is our thing. <laughs> Megaverse. <laughs> it's bigger than the universe. Yeah, seriously. You know, there's already a game that's kind of like, I guess, like the baby version of what could be one day the Ready Player One. And I think VR it's just straight VR chat. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's a fucking. If you, you have a full body any tracking, character, dude. And there's full body tracking VR. Like, if you have that, like, dude, you're in it. And you could pay people to make a legit ass, like, avatar of you. Yes. Yeah. Whatever it's kinda, you want. It's crazy. You know what? Actually, now that you brought this up, there's a YouTuber that he's a VTuber and he okay. actually turned himself into a Warhammer guy. Wow. Yeah, like the armor. And, like, you don't see him at all. You can't even, like, tell it's a fucking human behind mm. it. It just looks like a guy in shiny, like, uh, with power armor from Fallout. What's it called? Uh, Anyways, just, you know, the, the Space Marines from Warhammer. It's really just called Power Armor. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Probably, is that what it was yeah. called? Yeah, I mean, I, I, they, they each suit has different, like, names, mm-hmm. but, like, it's just Power yeah, Armor. Yeah, so the Power oh, Armor, yeah. that that's all it looks like he's wearing. He's just big-ass, chunky dude in the corner of the screen just playing, like, fucking Left 4 Dead or some shit, whatever it was he was playing. There's really? another VTuber yeah, named uh, cool. Code Miko, and her entire, like, she's 
everything in her streams all virtual. She does it all all by herself. Yeah, I'll show you guys after stream. It's really fucking cool. That shit is hard to do, and you need a a you need a beast of a PC oh, to do that. Yeah, you need like um, three. I don't, PCs. I don't think I don't think mine would be able to do that. Oh no, 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 not at all. You need the top of all. Like I said, you probably need like. Th- um, you need like three need a fucking PC systems. Dude, you need a PC to do all of it. You need a PC to stream it, and then you need a PC to play your game. That's like, so <laughs> 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 that is your, terrible. Is your PC as big as Giovanni's? My PC is actually a little bit smaller than his, but that's just because his shell's bigger. Uh, yeah, my the shell. shell is just a little bit bigger. Yeah. The actual pieces and everything in it is basically the same. Mm. Oh, okay. I went to my boy Frankie's house, and his PC is so big, he has like handles on it the fuck yeah yeah you can get huge fucking rigs my my uncle actually just built a mini pc i'll take a picture next time i go weird yeah he just he just built a mini pc and it's really like a fucking like it, it's all probably as big as your xbox really that but just great? with its width is a little bit bigger obviously mm. but yeah it's it's probably the size of your the, the dimensions of your xbox but a pc Right. And it has two doors on each side. You open it up, and you can see the fucking hard drive, the fan, the M2 drive, and it's all just curled up into this block. Wow. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It was super tiny, and it fucking kicks ass. It's fast. Like, his graphics card is the entire length of the, the case. Really? Yeah. You guys ever heard of the, the Raspberry Pi PC? No. Mm-mm. That is... A mini computer that's like probably like this big. Oh yes, I have. My uncle has one. Yeah, Speaking of double, looking yeah. it up right now, and like literally for a hundred bucks, Brandon, there's your PC. Yes, yeah. On Amazon, hundred bucks. It's like Linux or something on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the yep. operating system, dude. And it's like literally probably as big as this. Really. Or or your DS. Really. Yeah, that's how big it is. It has a couple, it has a port to plug in the power mm. and like a couple USB ports, like maybe one for the keyboard, one for the mouse. That's insane. Yeah. That's a cool thing to be able I to just like plug in a, somewhere and just hook it up to a monitor or something. Yeah. 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 Really? That's it. Done. Like, like if you were, if you were like someone on wall street or something, you need to keep files safe and like just be able to easily have move a shit around. Like, you yeah. Just have all your legal documents and shit. Yeah. Just Literally throw that shit, shit in your pocket. Throw Bitcoin on there and yeah. forget I ever had it. <laughs> <laughs> like all these retards. <laughs> there, oh, there's damn. people like that. They have Bitcoin on hard drive. Yeah, wasn't there one guy that lost like 23 million or something mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, and they he, forget he the password. or had it on a USB drive somehow. I don't get how that works. But yeah, I don't know. He had the Bitcoin that he mined on a USB drive from probably like around the time it first came out. Forgot the password to get into that USB drive. And after three tries, it was going to lock him out. And that's what happened. He got locked out forever. That's awful. Terrible. Like, why would you create that system yourself? Like, oh my god, what a re- like that guy is literally forgot the password. He's an idiot, bro. Like, yeah. yeah, that's your own password. How are you gonna forget what you came up with? Yeah, you remember won. the guy that bought like a box of pizza with like eighteen bitcoin or something oh like that god, too? Yeah, eighteen bitcoin, bro. That's like. Isn't that like almost a million? One Bitcoin is like thirty something dot thirty three something. Thirty thousand six thousand dollars. Yeah. Thirty six thousand. So about. like eighteen bitcoins, that's like what, almost half a mil? Mm. I'm just really going off a big estimate there, but it point is that's a shit ton of money. I'll tell you how much Bitcoin is worth right now. It's forty four thousand dollars. And that's with it in a different So it is forty four thousand right times eighteen. How much is that? Hold on. We could do the exact number. Uh, can you take out your calculator? All right. What am I looking? What am I doing here? Forty-four times eighteen. No, not yet. Four four nine nine three point nine four. Nine nine three point nine four. Yeah. Times eighteen. Yes. Eight hundred and nine thousand eight hundred ninety dollars and ninety two cents. So literally, how much you get? Say it again. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to like double take. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's just a little shy of a million dollars. That's two hundred k. That's but that is so much money that you could turn that into millions. Yeah. That. <laughs> hey, dude. Frustration. Like people just... have that just sitting in their fucking bank account yeah. right now, bro. 
People, I want to rob you. <laughs> yeah, no, I want all of you. Oh <laughs> if you have that kind of money, send all your information to no side Instagram. Yeah, we would much appreciate If you the have donation. that kind of money, please enter your credit card information for a chance to win a raffle of something that we'll discuss in the future. Mm-hmm. Totally not a scam. But we'll send you something We good. need your credit card information, though. All of it. But only if you got like 800k minimum. You know, people listening right now, they can't look you right in the eyes, but I will I will have to say looking at you in the eyes, I feel like you're telling me the truth. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. See, there you go, folks. Yeah. First well, hand. I would probably even enter into this raffle. Yeah. And it's it's, it's yeah, but we need 800k. Yeah. So. Yeah. There goes that. Yeah. Well, so far is... there's nobody in the raffle, so First come, first serve. Yeah, yeah, you have the chance to win, ladies and gentlemen. Something. We haven't discussed what it is yet, though. You have a chance to meet. Experience being Agreed. poor. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Think about it, right? If they have that much money, they have multiple sources of income that'll probably get them back to a million in no time. Yeah, They'll be poor for a day. Let them experience it. Let it's them like, let them experience the embarrassment of swiping your card and the cashier's like, "Sir, your card declined," and, and there's like a whole line of people behind you and shit. Oh it's like God. beyond scared. It's, it's awful, like beyond bro. scared straight, but f- for rich people, for rich it's people. like beyond scared yeah, poor. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "I don't want it. I want my money. I want yeah, my money." Just, I have like, what? Card my bank account. <laughs> his card declines, and he just has like a fucking mental breakdown. Oh my god! Yeah, that's how they started off. Like oh that's how they gosh. know they're beyond straight. Or or beyond, be, beyond scared. It'll poor. be like, "Sir, your card, doc- your card got declined." What? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could use those words in a sentence. What does that mean? It means yeah. you have no money. Uh, what are you talking how about? How do I have no money? I'm a because you're poor. And then it's like a That's evil when it IQ. hits them. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody behind them in line is like, get your ass out of line. Broke ass. Yeah. Broke ass. Get out of here. Move. <laughs> Beyond oh, scared man. poor. Yeah, that should yeah. be the title of it. Podcast. Beyond Scared Poor. Beyond Scared Poor. It's a good one. Beyond Scared Poor. Well, with that, guys, it's been another episode of the No Side Podcast. Episode yeah. 12 coming at you on Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah. Friday the 13th. Make sure make sure to um, bless your house, all you holy religious people listening make sh- out there. Yeah, make sure you, um, you break mirrors, you walk under ladders, you open umbrellas and doors. Make sure a black cat lo- runs under a ladder. Yeah. Yeah. You step on a crack. You break your mother's back. I remember um, somebody said that to me one time in in elementary, and I just straight up did it. I was like, "No fuck, like, fuck my mom!" No, I'm no, no, not like that. But I was you like, "You dug your lying. foot into the like, crack." Like, you're like, you're mm. stupid for believing that. Boop. I was like, <laughs> "Really bad." <laughs> 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 but yeah, oh, um, <sighs> Friday thirteenth. Go do all that bad shit. Um, TP your neighbor's house. This isn't Halloween. This is Friday the thirteenth. Okay, yeah, don't do that yet then. Yeah, it's not mischief night. Yet. Yeah, not yet. No. It's just it's just Friday. Say so open. Yeah, do all that. Send us your parents' money. Experience and being broke for a day. Send me your parents' money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at bmendoza127. Twenty, you can take. The oh, sure. Um, say what you got to say. I think I mentioned I deleted my Twitter earlier, so it's just Jovi Lego on Instagram. Word, and then you can find me at ant underscore underscore farm. That's right, two underscores. Um, that's it. You know, the- he had to put the underscores in because Ant Farm was already taken. I, the, yeah, with the one we underscore. We already discussed this, and then you're reminding them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now everybody remembers. He's, he's breaking down right now. <laughs> Damn it. Experience embarrassment. No, I'm going to change it to one underscore. If it's not taken. Damn. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, before we end this podcast, I'm going to try right now. Yeah, yeah, see, because, see because, if the original because, name is active Because now. if it does change, if it does change, that means that it's not double underscore, and I'm going to be leading our viewers to false places. Oh, yeah, they're going to be looking for false promises. Right. They're going to be looking for a treasure that's not there. That's not there. Going to edit profile.
You didn't. You, you didn't lead them to the X on the map. You led them to the Y. Username is available. <laughs> it's, 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 on the <laughs> it's not available. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What, who is the ant underscore farm? Yeah, seriously. Who is this mystery character? A child? (laughs) (laughs) Let me see this. Oh my god, he's got one follower, or he's following one person. Is it a he? Uh, Whoever. They, them. Dude, complain to Instagram. Be like, this guy has my name. We... We get, if we get famous, I think we could do that. This kid mm-hmm, looks right? like the kind of kid that would tell me on an Xbox Live chat He'll that he'd fuck my ex- mother. Like, this is what this kid yeah. looks like. He'll start calling you slurs and homophobic. That's what I'm words. saying. Yeah. yeah. He's the kind of kid who'll be like, I fuck your How mom. How old is the account? Can you tell? Uh, No, he has no pose. Who's he following? One Direction Love. Oh, wow. my God. Wait, I think it's a female. All One Direction? Wow, this, I feel like, this, this is from 2011. Oh my god. So is it Antonia? Antonina. Antonina. Uh, she sounds upset. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Is No Side still taken, by the way? Like, regular No Side? Yeah. She never even read our DM. Really? Yeah. Uh, quick story behind that. We tried to... Before No Side came into fruition of what it is today, we try to make the No Side Instagram just No Side, like no No Side underscore podcast. Yeah, just straight up No Side. But it's been taken by some older lady who's coincidentally here in New Jersey too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she hasn't read uh, the message we DM'd. And what was weird about it is that when we found the account, she had posted like the day after. Yeah, and so she's active. Out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she alive. She she be kicking it. Yeah. Wow. So guys, if you want to help us out, be kind. Don't be an asshole, and ask politely if No Side underscore Podcast could have the No Side yeah. handle. You know, we would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Although I like the way it is now, to be honest. Yeah, but just ha- seeing you know straight up No Side. Yeah, that'd be yeah. Cool, just yeah. No Side. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, guys. I guess this is where we end it now. So make sure Twitter and Instagram, no side to underscore podcast. You can go check those out. Follow them. You guys heard the the boys. You heard their socials. So make sure to go follow them. Show them some love as well. Um, and yeah, we will see you guys next week, Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For episode 13. 13. 13. The teens, the teens, yo. The teens, dude. Oh, my Isn't God. Weird. Yo, dude. The fucking... Teens. We've been doing this for three months now. Just yeah, about. yeah, just about. We started the late March. Dude, no size going to hit puberty. Mm-hmm. No size voice is going to change. They're going to oh start having. Oh my god! They're going to start, you know, uh, having bo. They're going to fucking <laughs> start going to get acne and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to start, you know, experiencing different different things in life. Mm-hmm. Remember hitting puberty. No sides teething right now. We're not even like we haven't scratched the surface. We're teenagers next Teens. week, dude. Teens. You know, start getting hair in weird places. <laughs> I want to end the podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. See you next week. It was like three false endings. This is the real one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>